Good morning, this is Reverend Deb Hansen, First United Methodist Church, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Welcome, we're glad to have you with us this morning and we're gonna be talking about time out. Scripture is from Mark chapter 6, verses 30 through 32. The apostles returned to Jesus and told him everything they had done and taught. Many people were coming and going, so there was no time to eat. He said to the apostles, come by yourselves to a secluded place and rest for a while. They departed in a boat by themselves for a deserted place. How do you take time out? Jesus said, let us go to a place where we can be alone and get some rest. Now, Jesus knew the importance of finding time to rest, refresh, renew, and restore ourselves. And he often went off somewhere by himself to pray. Jesus understood weary, tired, depleted. He knew what it meant to be hungry, in need of sleep, and tired of the demands that were made on him. Mark 1 35 tells us, and rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, he departed and went to a desolate place and there he prayed. Jesus needed time out, a break, a place apart so he could rec reconnect with God and himself. And that's what vacations, days off and quiet time offer us. Does God think we should take a vacation? I think so. Jesus repeatedly demonstrated our need to rest and refresh, whether it is for an hour of quiet time, a day off from work, or a week or two apart from our daily routines. God even set the example, as we see in Genesis 2-3, where we read that God, what God did after six days of creating the universe. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that God had done in creation. God rested, God renewed, God refreshed. 
sometimes we are just so busy that we don't take time out or think we can't because there's so much going on in our lives. But when we take time out, it's good to remember that God ha Jesus has set the example and that is what God has asked us to do as we take care of ourselves. And Jesus said to his disciples, and he says it to us, come away with me, with me, to a quiet place, to rest, to refresh, to renew. During these summer months, it's a great time to take vacation. Some people can't do it because they work hard all summer but others are able to go or they might go later on in another season. And it's important for us to remember that we can find our quiet times too. Come away with me to a quiet place. Renew yourselves, rest, take time out. Where is your quiet place? Maybe you have a favorite chair beside a window where you can watch birds or pray or just sit quietly Maybe you like to hike in nature, or maybe like my husband and I, you like to spend time on the beach, walking, collecting shells, or enjoying the sunshine. I have a friend who spends hours walking in the woods. There are those who like sitting outside on the deck or patio or yard, like I'm doing right now, going to visit family or friends in another town or state or visiting state and national parks. There are so many possibilities, and we all can find that time out where we can reconnect with God with our own selves and with others as we strive to be the best person we can be and as we grow into being the person God knows we are. Today, this week, this year, I hope and pray you will find your time out space and accept the invitation from Jesus, come away with me to a quiet place. We'd like to share some of our quiet places and some of our reflections and so I hope you will enjoy this video montage from Deb and Dave. We are very blessed to live in this area where there's a small road, probably less than a mile long, that connects our development, our, our community with other communities. And it's a place where there isn't a lot of traffic, although there is some, but we can hear the birds and hear the wind blowing in the trees and know that this is a safe place to walk where we can be quiet, where we can listen, listen to God's voice, listen to the gifts that God has given us, and know that this is a place where we can pray and discern and think and work through things, or just walk, walk to the rhythm, to the beat of your feet, knowing that God walks with you. It is one of my quiet places. There's something about water that is refreshing and we have this pond near us, and I don't know if you can see it, way in the back there's a blue heron standing way at the end of the pond. And right in front of me is a waterfall. Sometimes that waterfall is full like it is after the two weeks of rain that we've had. Sometimes it's kind of meager, but in some ways it's sort of like life. It's, sometimes our cup is full and sometimes we run on empty. That's why we need these places of solitude and, and quiet time to reconnect with nature, with God, with ourselves, and ultimately with each other. And so this is a, a place that both my husband and I love to come to. We see all kinds of animals and, and birds here, and we know that it is one more gift of creation from our God.
some people, gardening is a way of relaxing, of renewing, refreshing. It reminds them of recreation, of regrowth, rebirth. And so gardening can be a refreshing time. It can be a way of renewing God's creation as well as providing food for ourselves or others. Try gardening sometime. One of the most relaxing things that we like to do is to come to the beach. A lot of other people do too, on vacation or just for recreation. Or, as my husband likes to do, take pictures. You can see, this is a great place to be. It's low tide, lots of walking space, and the waves are low, but the sound is just so refreshing, so renewing. So the beach is a popular place where we can find and be reminded of the love of God the constancy of the tide and how life changes even as the tide does, but it always returns again. Let us pray. Jesus, our example and teacher, you taught the disciples that they needed time away, time to refresh, time to renew, time to pray. Remind us again how important it is for us to do the same. Lead us to that place in our homes, on vacation, taking a walk, or in some quiet space where we can retreat from the world's noises and recommit our lives to you. Help us to be good listeners and to hear your guiding voice feel your calming presence, and be empowered to return to our daily lives with the knowledge that you walk with us always. Amen. And an interpretation of the Lord's Prayer from the Rainbow Cathedral. Please join me. God, lover of us all, most holy one, help us to respond to you, to create what you want for us here on earth. Give us today enough for our needs. Forgive our weak and deliber deliberate offenses just as we must forgive others when they hurt us. Help us to resist evil and to do what is good, for we are yours, endowed with your power to make your world whole. Amen. Hope you find a place every day to find quiet time to take care of yourself to find refreshment renewal wherever that may be may you go in peace and serve the lord amen <laughs>